Hello everybody, in this video I want to check out uh, the better vehicle handling mode for Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, and this was done by Kaling uh, Z2 uh, on Nexus modes. Uh, keep in mind, this is not intrusive, this is only uh, an INE file that you need to put in uh, the, one of the directories, directories that, uh, where the Cyberpunk 2077 is installed, either Steam or uh, GOG. Um, and it said that uh, the optional file improves handling further and tries to make acceleration not top speed and, and, and deceleration a little bit uh, deceleration a little bit in general. So better handling it's not like something gonna go and try and just gonna be completely different. No. Uh, just make it a bit easier to handle vehicles uh, I mean when driving through night city. Now if you wonder how the file, what is in the file, in the ini file, some uh, variables uh, set with different values. You can see force move to max <coughs> angular speed, force move to max liner speed, enable low uh, well stopping resistance false, enable free rotation resistance torque true, enable air resistance, there's some values here. Now what you see here is when the mode uh, is disabled and the, the motor actually mentioned that uh, it's it's uh, even better for uh, using motorcycles, uh, but then this uh, actually motorcycle has uh, good handling or less. But uh, you know, just testing out uh, how it feels without actually using the mode, driving around. I'm going to bump, of course, versus uh, many other uh, vehicles, and now we're going to check uh, the model one. Second. So this is with the mode enabled. So again, don't expect a huge difference, but I think that uh, maybe I should have tried it in uh, uh, Badlands, where I can just go and just do crazy things. But anyway, as you can see here, uh, the thing is that when you turn, it's still the same. Um, if you make a turn, it's on a slow turn, so you need to control your speed when turning. This doesn't solve this issue. This is one of the issues that I have actually when doing these turns with uh, the motorcycles just to kind of a really ease, slow turn the big radius and I get into things but of course this is just about better controls so it feels a bit I don't know kind of heavy uh, less faulty but overall uh, you know you see that it's not a huge difference now here I'm using the Porsche with the mode uh, disabled I'm trying to take the turns <laughs> Again, the Porsche is one of those uh, vehicles that can really easily get out of control, especially when you take some turns. Uh, can be quite a messy one, but again, it's really fun to drive this uh, this car. Very kind of fast and smooth turns. Now let's check out the when the mode enabled. So this is now with the mode enabled. So I try this again. This is a very popular mod, uh, probably people kind of had enough with how they're uh, you know, with driving in Cyberpunk 2077 when they bump into things and can control the cars. Uh, so this actually this is actually improving uh, the handling. Of course if you're a bad driver like myself, uh, I think nothing will help you. <laughs> Again, so it's called Better Vehicle Handling on NexusMods.com. I'm just testing it out. Uh, and yeah, nice. Again, popular mod, so if you're kind of uh, sick of the handling of cars in Cyberpunk 2077, you can try this mod and it might actually improve. Uh, but again, it's not a huge difference, what I'm saying. So this is it for this video. Consider subscribing to my channel and give this one a little like. i see you very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Cool.